So we have this emo desktop pet robot that came in as Storm. So let's look at the video. So here it goes. Hey, emo. That looks so much like Vector. Turn the Sounds like Vector. Oh, actually, Cosmo. Emo is an AI desktop pet. Wow. He stays by your Emo. side to keep you comfortable. He has legs. You, just like a real pet. Wow. Okay, you can play a game. Well, Vector can recognize you, take pictures of you as well. Ah, it can dance. That's really cool, actually. And whether Vector could do that as well. <laughs> you can set an alarm. That's what Vector can't do. So I think it's depending on the battery life. Remember you on your birthday. Well, Vector can do that. That's interesting. Vector. Right. So one of the striking thing is that the final part of this video clip is that Emo is facing a Vector and actually calling Vector saying, oh, Vector. And um, what this video clip is trying to hint is that probably this company is linked to Digital Dream Lab. Because the way how the eye moves, the way how the eye is designed, the way how it sounds, sounds so much like Cosmo. The eye movement sound, looks so much like Vector. Uh, the head size comparing to Vector to Emo, I guess is gonna be, so that sort of height with that sort of um, um, size of the head as well. So it's gonna be much bigger than Vector. But what I'm trying to get at is that, well, obviously the Snapdragon chip on Vector is right behind his face, the screen. So I assume if we count that Snapdragon, because it looks almost like it has the same intelligence as Vector, um, but much bigger head. So I assume there will be a bigger battery capacity as well, because it has the alarm function that Vector doesn't have. The big question will be how would Emo actually charge himself on this whole thing? Um, but what, what's, what has happened is that I managed to find this out on the um, Digital Dream Lab Facebook group page. So once I found out about this, I managed to find out a link that linked to me this page saying that you should uh, sign up to reserve the limited 129 US dollars for the launch day special, which I have actually signed up with my email. Um, and as soon as I've been accepted, I have actually been automatically been joined to this emo by living dot AI Facebook group page. And I could see some of the very interesting members actually being part of this group as well. It already exceeded 10,000 members. So it's actually came by storm in the robotic community, you can see. So it's a very exciting project, I have to say, and a very good prize. But the biggest question will be, if, it, if this company, living.ai, by the looks of it, is not part of DDL, uh, Digital Dream Labs, at all, how does how could actually uh, living.ai could copy all those files and bluntly use all the semblance of the uh, vector or Cosmo is a big matter because if they have done so without the permission of Digital Dream Lab, this is a serious crime. They could heavily be penalized for this whole thing. So um, what I would like to hear and what I'll be really interested is the voice or the input from the company uh, Digital Dream Lab who actually holds all the copyrights of Anki's um, copyrights. So um, yeah, I just want to give you guys a heads up on this matter. It's a very exciting project. So obviously um, quite a lot of people are suspicious that this is a scam, uh, not a nice word to use. Uh, most of them turn out to be not a scam, so I'm very optimistic about this matter. Um, but I have a, I'll be very happy to pay for this and let you guys know the updates and um, how it functions if, if I get it. So keep an eye on this whole project, it's very exciting. Thank you very much for watching this video, this is LJT Tech. All the best, bye bye.